What happens when you cross rock and roll with the world's most spectacular wildlife creatures? Introducing Rock on the Wild Side, this planet's most awesome predators cut to monster rock and roll. Classic Rock, nature's wildest creatures, together on one extraordinary video. It's all here. Award-winning footage, nature's most gripping, thrilling drama. The chase, the capture, the escape. And it's all yours for the low price of just $19.95. Satisfaction guaranteed if you call this number and order now. And hey, there's more. Shake it to the east, shake it to the west. When it comes to shaking, you're a wow, baby, baby. Call now and you'll also receive this outrageous video, Wildlife Rocks, free. Catch all your favorite creatures of the wild at their weirdest, wackiest, and wildest. It's yours absolutely free if you call and order now. You get both incredible videos for just $19.95. Available only through this exclusive television offer. Take a rock on the wild side and call right now. To order, call 1-800-772-1433. That's 1-800-772-1433. Have your credit card ready. Operators are standing by from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Guaranteed to be the funniest, most exciting wildlife videos you've ever seen or your money back. You get both Rock on the Wild Side and Wildlife Rocks for only $19.95 plus shipping and handling. Have them delivered to your home or office. Take a Rock on the Wild Side and order your set today. The rhino. He's just one species. But if he goes, he could take a few things with him. Throughout history, many men of power, both good and evil, have attempted to rule the Earth. Yet only one entity has maintained dominion over the entire planet for millennia. Bugs! That's right, creepy crawlies rule. And they are way cool. The butterfly, poetry in motion. Did you know that a butterfly has a real sweet tooth? Or should we say sweet foot? Foot, that's right. Butterflies taste with their feet. And those feet tasters are 2,000 times more sensitive than your own tongue. You see, when a butterfly lands on a flower, it tastes the plant to see how sweet it is. 
The sugar in the flower's nectar stimulates taste buds on the feet, which causes the butterfly's tongue to uncoil so it can feed on the flower's nectar. Caterpillars, the offspring of butterflies. Caterpillars hatch from eggs that were laid on the exact same plant that will be its actual food source. From the moment caterpillars hatch, they eat. They eat continuously for weeks. No part of a plant is safe. The mouths of these offspring differ greatly from the adults. The change into adulthood in animals and insects is not always dramatic. But for the monarch butterfly, the metamorphosis is nothing less than wondrous. Come and discover the chrysalis, nature's unique transformation capsule where the metamorphosis of a caterpillar into a butterfly takes place. As the monarch caterpillar sheds its outer skin, the chrysalis is revealed. It's used to protect the caterpillar as it transforms and changes into a beautiful butterfly. The monarch butterfly can fly thousands of miles. Every year, they travel from Canada to Mexico. Some even fly to Hawaii and back again. During their journey, they will stop at favorite spots along the way to rest. In some locations, there are so many butterflies, the trees on which they land almost look solid red in color. One time, a monarch roost in Mexico covered 12 acres. That's bigger than 20 football fields.
Voltaire, a very famous 18th century philosopher, once said, Ask a toad what is beauty. He will answer that it is the female with two great round eyes coming out of her little head, her flat mouth, her yellow belly, and brown back. Frogs are marvels of nature. They have no tails, no hair, no scales, and no feathers. Their skin is moist and they live on both land and in water. They come in a dazzling array of colors, and frogs can produce astonishing music. Just listen. In Chinese culture, a well-known phrase is the toad in the moon and not the man in the moon. The Chinese say that an eclipse occurs when the toad in the moon tries to swallow the moon itself. In Japan, frogs are symbols of good luck. One myth is that the bullfrog is the descendant of a great ancestor who could suck all the mosquitoes out of a whole room in a single breath. Hey, who wouldn't want one of those frogs at your next outdoor summer party? Some people believe that you can get warts from touching a frog. Oh, that's not true. You get warts from human viruses. The power of camouflage. Not all insects are brightly colored to warn enemies that they are poisonous. Some creepy crawlies have found ways to protect themselves from attack by mimicking and copying the shapes and colors of the places in which they live. Look how well they blend in with the natural color. Caterpillars use different devices to ensure their survival. Color is a very effective form of camouflage. Color also sends a message to would-be attackers. The color means that the caterpillar is poisonous. A butterfly's tongue is like a straw that uncoils in order to reach the sweet nectar that lies at the bottom of a flower. In the beginning, Plants protected themselves from insects and animals who wanted to eat them by smelling or tasting bad. They also had very sharp thorns. But over time, things changed. Plants developed a partnership with insects, a partnership for mutual survival. The plant, unable to walk, developed a flower which produces nectar to attract insects. The insects transport pollen to another plant of the same species for pollination. Spiders, arachnids, they're more frightening to most people than any other bug or animal alive. Spiders have eight legs with six joints. <laughs> That's 48 knees. When a victim is caught in the web, 
the spider quickly and swiftly wraps it up. Then it bites it, causing paralyzation. The spider does not always eat its prey right away. The freshly wrapped and paralyzed insect stays fresh for the spider's next meal. <laughs> Talk about frozen foods. The fine thread of the spider's web looks so delicate, but it can hold 4,000 times the spider's weight. I bet you didn't know that some people put a clean spider web on a cut or a wound to stop the bleeding and help heal the cut. That's far better than eating a bowl of mashed spiders like Little Miss Muffet once did. Did I say a bowl of mashed spiders? <laughs> That's right. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet. And you know what? She was a real girl. That's right. Miss Muffet was a real girl. Her father, Thomas Muffet, was a spider expert who used to make his daughter eat mashed spiders whenever she was ill. Mashed spiders was a common remedy for the common cold some 200 years ago. <laughs> I bet that will stop you from sneezing. Most spiders have eight eyes. Below the eyes are two jaws that end in fangs. Through the fangs cometh the venom. There are billions and billions of spiders in the world. If every spider ate just one insect a day for a whole year, all those consumed bugs combined would weigh as much as 50 million people. Swamps, bayous, fresh and brackish water, cruising through the Everglades. These are the places where you will find the American alligator, the largest reptile in North America, and a pretty scary looking one at that. The alligator is important to the ecology of their home and surrounding neighborhood because during times of drought, they dig holes providing water for the entire wildlife community. Say hello to the snapping turtle. This turtle is the largest freshwater turtle in the world. The snapping turtle has a most unique way of catching its prey. Equipped with a pink worm-like structure on its tongue, it sits quietly on the bottom, mouth wide open, while moving its fishing lure to attract prey. The first turtles appeared about 200 million years ago, long before the dinosaurs. Both the American alligator and the snapping turtle have changed little since the beginning of time. They are two of the best examples of living fossils. Now, who is this strange looking creature? Meet the Gila monster, a venomous carnivore that seems to rely more on taste than sight. Venomous means that the Gila monster has venom in each bite. And carnivore means that the Gila only eats meat. With a tongue similar to that of a snake, the monster tracks its prey by tasting the ground. The bite of the Gila monster is rarely fatal to humans, 
but it is very painful. The venom is not injected like a snake, but flows into the open wounds of its prey while the Gila chews on its victim. Chuck Walla, one hot lizard. Emerging in the early morning hours of the day, this lizard basks in the sun until its body temperature reaches 100 degrees Fahrenheit. A large pot-bellied lizard with loose folds of skin around its neck and shoulders give it a rather frightening appearance. But the chuckwalla is strictly a herbivore, meaning it eats leaves, flowers, buds, and fruit. So he may look dangerous to you, but he really isn't. The desert reaches temperatures too high for most animals to exist. Inhabitants of the desert find shade during the midday heat, avoiding daytime travel. Few creatures have developed a way of locomotion as well as the sidewinder snake. Traveling over shifting surfaces by sidewinding, this snake makes use of static friction to keep from slipping when crossing sandy areas. Here's something really cool you probably didn't know. Only three parts of the snake's body touches the ground at any given moment. The legs of an insect indicate its lifestyle. Digger, leaper, water walker, fast runner, or slow crawler. Legs can have many other uses as well grooming, catching prey, gathering food. These are just a few examples of how legs can be used by an insect. The common housefly. You know those buzzing little pests that bother us at home? Well, the housefly is also a way cool, creepy crawler. It has taste buds on its feet, and it eats with its nose. Overall, just getting from one place to another is perhaps the most important use of legs, especially for us human beings. Many caterpillars sport prickly hairs that release an irritant substance, so don't touch because this stuff stings. This substance is used to keep away the caterpillar's enemies. Would you believe that there are about 67,000 million insects over every square mile of Earth? That's about 200 million for every human being. Well, think about that the next time you go camping. No, snakes do not have movable eyelids. No, they cannot close their eyes. And no, snakes cannot hypnotize their prey or humans. Still, I'd think twice before looking too closely into the eyes of a snake.
some snakes are actually helpful. Farmers have hired out snakes to rid their barns and farmhouses of mice and rats who carry deadly diseases. The corn snake is a very efficient hunter. Finding the nest of mice, the corn snake will eat all the mice in the nest, swallowing as many as eight or more mice in one meal. Pythons are descendants of prehistoric lizards that lived during the same time as the dinosaurs. They still have tiny useless spurs where their hips and legs used to be. Let's take a moment and watch the travels of the insect.
rainforests have been developing for hundreds of millions of years. They have species that are unique to their locale. The red-eyed tree frog is one of them. The frog's enlarged red eyes are used to startle predators for a moment, giving the tree frog just enough time to hop away to safety. Well, this species of frog is not on the endangered list. Its home is in serious threat. If a species home is taken away or destroyed, it only stands to reason that the creatures who live in this home are also threatened or destroyed along with it. Our creepy crawly friends have existed long before the dinosaurs and with their ability to survive catastrophes of all kinds, they are likely to outlast any other life form. Did you know that there are over one million different kinds of creepy crawlies? That's right, over one million different kinds of insect species that we know about. And scientists estimate there are millions more still to be discovered. I hope you enjoyed discovering a few of them today. Thanks for watching and happy camping. <laughs>